Hello everyone, I'm Prasanna from second year CSCB and uh, in this session let us talk about the buzzword ChatGPT. We all have heard about the search engines Yahoo, Google and Firefox. What is ChatGPT? In ChatGPT, GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It is a chatbot that is launched by OpenAI in November 2022. ChatGPT is an AI chatbot auto-generative system created by OpenAI for online customer care. It is a pre-trained generative chat which makes use of NPL which is natural language processing. The source of its data is textbooks, websites and various articles which is used to model its own language for responding to human interaction. This chatbot system provides information and responses to the enquiries through AI. And now, the popular version of ChatGPT is GPT-3 model. Some latest news, Gautam Adani praises ChatGPT surprised by IT industry's decision predictions. And the another news article says, rebooting India's IT legal framework, budget 2023 is in the age of ChatGPT. And above all, we can see that Microsoft Chairman and CEO Satya Nadella believe that the golden era of artificial intelligence is underway and it will reshape labor and business. And as we all know that. Okay, now let us see how to use this chat GPT interface. Okay, good Prasanna. Can you let us know the difference between chat GPT and other search engines like Google and Firefox? Okay, Amin, may I help you? The major difference is ChatGPT provides a single answer, whereas Google provides us many links. To the question what Amin has asked, that what is the difference between ChatGPT and other search engines, other search engines like Google and Yahoo will direct us to other external links, whereas ChatGPT will give the direct and accurate answer. Now let us see this practically. Now in a search engine, I have searched for top programming languages and it along with the list of languages, it also directed me to many external links like this. Now I have searched the same text in uh, chat GPT and uh, output is When I have searched the same thing that is top programming languages in ChatGPT, it has given me the direct list of top programming languages like Python, JavaScript, Java and C++. It is as simple as it is and uh, it is also convenient and it protects us from opening any dangerous websites uh, etc. Now we will see the features of ChatGPT. The main feature of ChatGPT is generating response in a text format. Therefore, it is suitable for chatbots, AI system conversations and virtual assistants. It can also give answers in a natural tone and it can also generate stories and poems. Moreover, ChatGPT can write a code in whatever language we require, write an article, translate, debug and write a story or a poem. Raghav, how can we access this ChatGPT? Nice question Rohit. You can access by simply signing into chart.openai.com by creating OpenAI account. Now we will see how to create OpenAI ChatGPT account. Steps to follow to open and access ChatGPT account. For sign in, we need to sign up and next uh, this page will be open. Continue with Google account, then our ChatGPT account is created. After creating the ChatGPT account, then click on login. Whenever you click on login, it will ask for your verification by entering your mobile number, then OTP will generate to that particular number, then after account verification will be done. After the successful verification of your ChatGPT account, this ChatGPT page will be opened. Does anyone know about the differences between Chatbox and search engines? Yes, Manasa. Chatbot is a software which simulates human-like conversation. But nowadays, one of the famous chatbot is ChatGPT. But whereas search engines do not perform like this, does ChatGPT helps us to learn programming? Yes, we can learn program using ChatGPT. Now we will see one example. This is the program for finding factorial of a number using C. 
not only in C language, we can find the code in different languages like Python, Java, etc. Not only for writing the program, we can also debug the code using ChatGPT. I've also heard that ChatGPT helps us to create content for ebooks and also blogs. Is it true? Yes, Nandini, we can create content for ebooks and also blogs using this ChatGPT. Now, uh, not only that, we can even search for many other things and the results are amazing. Now, let us see the results for the searches. Now, I have searched for Hyderabad tourism. Let us see what is the result of this. Wow! It says, Hyderabad is known for its rich history, cultural heritage and modern infrastructure. Along with the places, it is also giving the, a little bit history of that place. Like for example, Charminar. It is a 16th century monument and uh, it's a mosque, Qutub Shahi Tombs, Golconda Fort, Salar Jung Museum, etc. Now you can copy this content and use wherever you want to use. And also some of the most important questions like how to build a resume, it, it also has results for such questions. It says, to build a resume for a software engineer, consider the following elements. Contact information, which is the basic information like name, phone number, email ID and location. And the set of skills that you have to do the particular job and uh, work experience, education, etc. And this gives exactly in which order it has to be placed. Not only this, even we can write stories and poems also. Now we can conclude that ChatGPT has been very famous since its release and is all set to revolutionize the tech world. All you need to do is go to OpenAI's ChatGPT website and use it in your browser to test it for free. There is no specific app to use. You can use it in your mobile and desktop websites. You just need to make an account and use it for whatever you need. Be that for personal growth, expander research or something else. Thank, Thank you. you.